working with some really huge pine cones. And then I have some puzzle pieces here and crafting sticks. More pine cones. And some canvas and wood Rudolph reindeer. And a nice little display by Jerry with the giant pine cone trees. <laughs> couple of card tables and some tablecloths. I have a number of different little projects here. Some of them would be great for grandkids or just something simple to do that's really cute and easy. And I'm just kind of giving you an overall little view. And then I will go through each one of the projects some of them I will finish on camera, and some of the other ones um, are already finished, like this little pine cone and people scene. I actually had a helper here with me, my sister, and she finished that one for me. I have a little angel ornament, a little um, ink drawing that I did just to give you some ideas for Christmas. We're trying to do all the Christmassy things here. And I did a lot of little items with um, popsicle sticks, oh, craft sticks. So I'm gonna get off of here now and try to show you some of the individual things. I'm going to be working on this cocoa cup made out of crafting sticks. And I just want to see if this is all going to be clear. Looks like we're ready for a go. All right, so my next step is to show you how I prepared <clears throat> a little bit for all these crafts. And what I did is I took index cards and I had some ideas, so I wrote the idea up here. Then I figured out what I needed. Like for this craft, which this is part of it, I needed six popsicle sticks or crafting sticks, little ones, like this. Just the regular small sticks. I needed either cotton balls, or these little pom-pom, I call them pom-pom things, made out of felt or cotton. I'm gonna use those for the marshmallows. And then I glued the popsicle sticks. In the back, I glued them onto a little piece of cut poster board. And that way they'll stay together and then after that dried, I laid them on here to see where I wanted to put my little handle. I made this handle out of just a piece of cardboard. I cut it out. And first, before I cut it out, I made a little pattern out of one of the index cards. I laid it on there to see what size that I needed. So now what I'm going to do, when my glue gun gets hot enough, I'm going to glue this onto this little canvas. I thought this was kind of cute, sort of like a little sign that you would see in a little cafe or something. And I took my pencil and I wrote cocoa. And then I used silver paint, just regular crafting paint in a bottle. I'll show you. Just like this, I used that to paint over what I had written in pencil. That way I could center it 
and I just eyeballed it. You can measure it exactly if you like. Another thing I noticed when I laid the popsicle sticks up here that they were uneven because the cardboard is thicker. So I took a little end of the cardboard and I made some little stoppers here. So when I glue this, we will glue it like this and it will lay evenly. Let me see if my glue gun is ready. Um, it is, okay. <laughs> I forgot to turn it on earlier and that's what I always tell people. Turn the glue gun on first, let it get hot. Now if you don't have a glue gun, it's okay. You can use any sort of white glue or tacky type glue. Any kind of glue like that will work. And you put your glue, what I'm going to do is put my glue here, here, and right in here. So these four spots will hold the popsicle stick cup on. Let me get some glue on there. And we're going to get this project going. When you do your glue gun, always have your other piece ready that you want to glue on because it doesn't take long for this glue to dry to where it won't hold. And so I held it up on top of it and I just kind of eyeball it. I think that looks cute. You know, I could have maybe moved it up more or down more, but once you glue it on with the hot glue, it's there. And it dries pretty much instantly. <laughs> so the next step is to put my little pom-pom things on. So I'm gonna make some dots. I'm going to try two of them at first. I'm going to make some dots with my glue. And I laid these out ahead of time just to kind of look at it and see where I might want to put them. But once they're there, you could pull them off, but it also might pull off your paint. So now that I have those two, I'm going to lay the other two and something like that and it kind of looks like marshmallows you could take your pencil and mark it if you wanted to but i'm just gonna kind of eyeball it put one there a little dab of glue there and we're gonna go for it and the cotton balls are these pom-pom balls they stick really quickly now, I don't know if you can see it, but there's all kinds of little strings coming from that. Just let it dry completely, and then you can take the strings off. If you try to pull these off now, if the glue isn't dry, it'll pull your little pom-pom off. And uh, it won't take long to dry, but I'm going to eventually sit this in the little easel, and I will put that, I'm going to bring it closer so you can see, this is just a simple little easel that I got, I don't know, at some crafting store or maybe a picture frame store. And that way it'll hold up my little canvas. And this canvas that I used is four inches by six inches. Now, if you wanted to, you could put this on a bigger canvas. Another option would be to write someone's name in here or you can get stick on letters to write the name there's just all kinds of variety of things that you can do to personalize it if you know somebody likes a certain background color you could paint this background color on the canvas whatever you want i use kind of a dark burgundy and then over that, I put a little bit of brown as a wash. And that was just what I chose to do. You could put a green background. You could make it more wood tone looking. And the variety is endless, virtually. 